In this video, we show two methods for illustrating equality of fractions. In the first method, we use bars with the same shaded amount. And in the second method, we split the parts of the bar. For example, this bar represents a fraction one-fourth, and if each part of the bar is split or divided into two equal parts, the bar will represent the fraction two-eighths. Both methods provide a visual understanding for fractions, but the second method also visually illustrates why equal fractions are obtained when the numerator and denominator are both multiplied by the same non-zero number. Here we have a five bars mat, the lower half, this is mat 24, and we have a red bar that's half shaded. If any bar is selected that is half shaded, a marker can be placed next to this bar. So for example, if this bar is selected, bar that has two parts and one part shaded, we could place a marker next to this bar, or two parts out of four, three parts out of six, or six parts out of twelve. Now all of these bars are half shaded, so their fractions are equal. We can write a chain of equalities here. So to continue this idea, you could have students find two bars with the same shaded amount and write their equality. So for example, if this bar is selected, they'd have to pick the uh, tenths bar with the six parts shaded, and in this case, three fifths is equal to six tenths. Now this is one way to introduce the quality of fractions, and all students can be successful at this activity. Next we'll look at a second method of illustrating equality of fractions that involves splitting the parts of a bar. Now this bar has four equal parts, three parts are shaded, and if we split each part of this bar into two equal parts, we now have eight parts, eight equal parts, so we double the number of parts. We've also doubled the number of shaded parts from three to six. Now since we haven't increased the uh, shading any, the original fraction, three-fourths, is equal to six-eighths. In terms of fractions. In general now, B represents the number of parts. If this number of parts is doubled, we're also going to double the number of shaded parts, and we're going to have an equal fraction. So that is, if we double B, we're also going to double A, and these fractions will be equal. A similar thing happens if we split the parts of a bar into three equal parts. And let's try this on the uh, bar for one half. Now I'm going to split each part into three equal parts. Now we've increased the uh, number of parts, total number of parts from uh, two to six. We've also increased the number of shaded parts. The total amount of shading hasn't changed, so the original fraction one half is equal to three six. In general, for any fraction, a over b, by tripling the total number of parts, we triple the number of shaded parts, or multiplying the total number of parts by three, also triples the number of shaded parts. Now this is a beautiful model. By splitting the parts of a bar to show equality, the rule for obtaining equal fractions, a over b equal n times a over n times b, where n is not zero, jumps right out. I have seen this rule in books for elementary school students without a single diagram or word of explanation, and yet it is so easy to illustrate. Now the parts of this bar were split with a water-based pen. 
The students can do the same thing. They can uh, draw with water-based pens on the fraction bars and the bars can be washed. Or they can place a bar on paper, trace the bar, reproduce the parts, and then do the splitting. If the equalities of fractions from these activities are listed on the board for students, they can look for patterns. They might notice the rule we've stated that whatever number the numerator is multiplied by, the denominator is multiplied by the same number. In this case, numerator and denominator both multiplied by 2. Uh, 2 fifths is equal to 8 twentieths. The uh, numerator multiplied by 4. The denominator multiplied by 4. They might also notice the uh, cross multiplication relationship. 3 times 5 is equal to 15 and 1 times 15 is 15. So these fractions are equal. 6 times 3 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. For example, let's pick uh, couple of fractions here, 4 over 6, 6 over 9. Are these fractions equal? Well, 6 times 6 is 36, 4 times 9 is 36, so these fractions are equal. For the fractions 4 over 7, 4 sevenths and 3 fifths, 4 times 5 is 20 and 7 times 3 is 21, so these fractions are not equal. In this video, we have seen fraction bars used in two ways to illustrate the quality of fractions. First, if two bars have the same shaded amount, as in this example, their fractions are equal. This model has the advantage of being able to compare shaded amounts by placing the bars side by side. The second method for illustrating the quality of fractions comes from splitting the bars in parts. The top bar here represented the fraction 1 fourth, had four parts and one part was shaded, and after splitting each part into two equal parts, there were eight parts and two shaded parts, and the bar represented two eighths. This is a powerful visual approach for illustrating a quality of fractions, because it also illustrates the common rule Multiply numerator and denominator by the same non-zero number for obtaining equal fractions. We will now look at two games for equality from FractionBaz.com. The first game is Concentration Match Baz. The player is given 18 bars and they turn over two bars. Those bars had different shaded amounts. They're trying to find two bars whose fractions are equal. Okay, two bars have been found whose fractions are equal, so the player gets a bonus turn. The play continues with the player trying to win all 18 bars in the given number of turns for the level of the game. The second game from this website is Bars and Cards. In the game Bars and Cards, the student is given eight bars and a fraction playing card. The object is to select the bar whose fraction equals the fraction on the playing card. The player has won two cards at this point. There are 20 cards in the deck on the left, and the number of cards won are on the right. The object is to see how many cards you can win. 